Welcome to the Blessed Hope. Uh, this ministry is by our family. Every night we go through a particular part of the Bible as we study. We, as a family, are inviting you into our study. That the Bible says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I do these studies with my family so they can grow in the Lord, so they can know the Lord through the Word of God, by the Word of God, of the Word of God. It's the very importance. And we invite you to listen, to share, to learn with us too, the Word of God. We ask that you uh, share these, to give full liberty of sharing to your friends, to your family. We ask that you use these videos for the edification of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that you abuse not these videos. They are to work for the Lord Jesus Christ, for edification, for growth. We thank you. Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 Behold where I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him, he with me. To him that overcometh, I will grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also even I also overcame, and sat down with my father in his throne. He that has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. This is the last church. After this, after Laodicea, I looked. So was John sees with his eyeballs. And behold, a door was opened in heaven. Jesus said, I'm the door of the sheep. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet. That's interesting. A trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 14 to 17. Here's the rapture. Light of the scene, church age. Rapture. Rest of Revelation, you don't see any church. Tribulation. Seals, bowls, vials. No church. It's gone. 4, 322, we're on the earth. 4, 1, we're in heaven. So, well, how do you apply this for the for the churches in the tribulation period? There's a mid-tribulation rapture. So, come up hither. I will show these things which must be hereafter. Hasn't happened yet. It's yet to come. And immediately I was in the spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. So, he's not dreaming. He's not intoxicated. He has been raptured in the spirit. You know what that means? His body is still behind somewhere. Like our rapture. The throne is the focal point. It's where God sits. And he that sat was to look upon like jasper. That's a reddish yellow brown color. So the color of the Jewish people. So the color of Adam, which means red brown. And sardine. That's a red, reddish color stone. Uh, 1 Kings 22, 19. Psalms. 107 or 117 8 and Isaiah 6 1 God has a throne in heaven and there was a rainbow now you try to tell me that the rainbow is a symbol of sodomites when God spoke to Noah he says Noah I'm going to Plant a bowl in the sky. And every time it rains, I'm going to remind myself of that covenant that I make with you and the animals. I will never again drown the entire world out. Now, we I don't know one thing. A lot of things I don't know. Was this rainbow before that rainbow of Noah? 
and still today that can be seen? Or did when God made that made that covenant with Noah and the animals when they got out of the ark? Did he look at his throne and said, I will show them now? Now watch this. There was a rainbow. Rainbows are pretty. You ever see a double rainbow? You ever see unusual type of rainbows? Round about the throne. Here is a circular rainbow. So go ahead, use the half arc rainbow. Because that's not the one that's in heaven. This goes around the throne. And what we'll get that verse 6 is that maybe it's that glassy sea that produces it. A rainbow round about the throne in sight. You can see it like unto an emerald. That's a green stone. And correct me if I'm wrong, but Dorothy was off to the Emerald City to go see the Wizard of Oz to go home with her ruby red slippers. Isn't that interesting? Somebody knew the Bible. And round about the throne, God's throne, were four and twenty seats, twenty-four seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty, twenty-four elders sitting. Who are these guys? I have no idea. And commentators don't know, and somebody says they know, they don't know. They just, boom, here they are. You know, they're like Ezekiel. One day, you know, just reading about King Ahab, boom. Who's this guy? Who's this guy, Ezekiel? Where do you show up from? I'm not saying Ezekiel, I'm just saying, here they are, boom. Sixty-five books in three chapters. We have not ever heard of these 24 guys, and here they are. The 66th book in the fourth chapter. So what are they? They're sitting, clothed in white raiment. And they had on their heads crowns of gold, golden crowns. That's what we know about them. Who are they? What are they? I have no idea. Out of throne proceeded lightnings and thunders. Exodus 19, 16 to 20. When God spoke the Mount Sinai to the children of Israel. It's almost like God's throne came down. So you got lightnings and thunders and rainbows in heaven. That's going to be great. And voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne. What are those? I got it. Seven burning lamps. That's exactly what they are. Oh, you want me to tell you what that seven burning lamps? That's what they are. When we get to heaven, we'll know. Which are the seven spirits of God? And then you're going to try that one. The Bible says there's one Holy Spirit, but here are seven spirits of God I don't know, but they're burning lights. They're at the throne of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. You've never seen a body of water like you'll see this body of water. It's a sea, it's glass, and it's like crystal. And like I said, maybe that produces that rainbow. It is in front of the throne. In midst, that's the middle of. We got before the throne is a sea. In the midst, that's in the middle of the throne. Round about the throne, like that rainbow, were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. That's interesting. Exodus 24:10. People always talk about, well, I had eyes in the back of my head. Well, these beasts have eyes behind their head, in front of their head. Full of eyes. Isn't it ever going to be great when we get there? I mean, God leaves us just enough that, okay, this, I'm not going to freak you guys out when you get here, but I'm not going to tell you the full story. All right, the first beast. You'll find these in Ezekiel 1. 
scripture was scripture was like a lion the wild kingdom lion is the representation of Jesus Christ the lion the tribe of Judah it's also a represent representation of the devil the second beast like a cow now Ezekiel's beast 1 5 Ezekiel 1 5 says a cherub so a cherub and a calf are the same thing this is a tame domesticated animal and what did Satan have Aaron build for the children of Israel which brought them out of Egypt according to the story a golden cow how interesting we were just watching a documentary about the Hittite where at the, at the gate of one of their, their king's entrances they had two lions you can go around today in Daytona Beach. Uh, there's a house on the way that we go to the uh, Ocean Walk. They've got two lions in front of their door. And they probably don't even know why. Of all the animals in the world. And the third of lions that I say, lions are, did I tell you? Lion is the wild kingdom. The, oh, calf is the tame domesticated animal. That's what I was working on. The third beast had a face as a man. Well, that's humans and that discharges that we are from the animals we've got a whole representation of itself of the beast in heaven it doesn't have a monkey tail and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle there's your birds and your falls so what is one of the main known symbols of countries around the world but the eagle America uh, I was gonna say Russia was my, uh, Germany Adolf Hitler used the eagle a lot especially when it came to his uh, his military somebody's missing Ezekiel 28 says that there's another sheriff we are missing the reptile Reptile, did I say reptile? Did I say it twice. reptile fish class amphibian representation. Fish, lizards, snakes. Well, Genesis 3, we know who that is in Revelation 12. I would assume Genesis 3, Revelation 12, that that one would have had a face of a serpent or a dragon. Scripture was scripture, but I can't be sure. He was there too. The Bible spoke that he was above the throne of God. The song leader. That's why there's no singing in heaven right now. Song leader's gone. He's taking the music and twisted it. And the four beasts would have been five. The fifth one would have been Satan. Five is the number of death had each of them six wings about him these are the ones that have wings and man don't get it right because there are six of them not two and they were full of eyes within they were full of eyes before and behind verse six and they rest not day and night there's a day and night listed here because there's a day and night from Genesis 1 but when we move to glory there is no more day and night but right now in our human time day and night 24 hours saying not singing Holy, holy, Lord, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Now, besides the Lord Jesus Christ, I want to hear these, these creatures in complete holiness of these faces that we sing, of the glory of majesty to God the Father. I guarantee these voices probably echo through heaven. 
And if NASA would ever, or the Kremlin would ever to hear a sound from outer space, it would never be these beasts speaking, because these are in holiness to God. They would be hearing Satan talking. These are the ones that are after the door in heaven. Eventually, I don't know where we go for the judgment seat of Christ. We are raptured. The Bible says we are caught up in, in the clouds to meet those that are dead and those that are alive. We shall further go to the Lord Jesus Christ in the sky as one unit. All saved believers, no unsaved people allowed. And then I don't know where we go for the judgment seat of Christ. Maybe like you said here, heaven, I don't know. But I know when we enter through those doors and we enter before God is thrown, which I think we have to be judged first. I don't think we're just going to walk in there and still a sinner. Can you imagine we're just walking in there as a mass group of people, I hate to say the word mass, but as the bride of Christ, and we, and we just hear, holy, holy, holy. And you're going to hear that for all eternity. And when those beasts gave glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, that is God, they give glory, they give honor, they give thanks to him that sat on the throne. Now, I'm thankful for our military men, but today's Memorial Day. I haven't seen one person placed on Facebook a glory and a remembrance of what Jesus Christ has done. I'm sorry, but these beasts are not going to give glory to our military men. They're going to give glory to God and the Son, Jesus Christ. Who sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever. God's eternal. The four and twenty, twenty-four elders... Fall down. Now here's a good falling down. There are a few good falling downs in the Bible. They are out of their seats. Verse 4 says, 4 and 20 seats. We don't even know what kind of seats they are. They're not thrones. God has the throne. They fall out of their seats. When the beasts speak. When the beasts finish speaking, they fall down. Before him that's on the throne, and worship him that liveth forever and ever, eternal. And cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Now before we go, the last verse. Biblically, the four and twenty-four, or the twenty-four elders, are the ones casting their crowns at God's feet. You can't find anywhere it says where the Christian is going to do that. Somebody has taken it out of context again. Somebody has come up with their own little story. Now, we, if we do, we do. Glory to God. But you can't break the Christian congregation that all we're going to be, the 24, the 24 people. Now, there it is. Now, either you're going to believe a story that a man has made up, or you're going to believe what the Bible has written through the Holy Spirit through the eyes of John. Now, if anybody who deserves a crown would have been John, and he would probably have had a crown on his head, and he doesn't. So when we say casting our crowns at his feet, that's the 4 and 24, the 24 elders doing that. Nowhere it says us. Get Bible with Bible. What are we going to do with our crowns? We'll find out when we get there. We cast them down. Glory to God, we'll cast them down. But who are these people? No one knows. There have been people who thought they knew. All right, so the beast. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. The eternal God, the eternal worship of God the Father. 
Thou art worthy, verse 11, God, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. Now, the beast, verse 9, glory, honor, and thanks. The four and twenty-four elders, glory, honor, and power. For thou, God, has created. Now we're going to get into some trouble. Has created all things. Genesis 1. And for thy pleasure, God's pleasure, God has pleasure. Not all pleasure is sinful. They are all things and were created, Colossians 1. So, when somebody comes up to you or somebody gives you, why am I here? Remember Revelation 4.11. We are here to give glory to God. Now, here's a double damnation of a lost man that teaches evolution. That does not give God the glory, and you are not worshiping God the Father. You are worshiping man in the Big Bang and monkeys. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory. Big Bang, that ain't it. The men that sell all the books for that, that ain't God. And honor. Honor is not going on in the school systems, public or college. And power. Well, the Big Bang is not the power of God. For thou hast created, we are made, monkeys are made, tigers are made, snakes are made, the stars, the trees, all of Genesis 1 was created, all things. And for thy pleasure they are and were created. And then Genesis 1 says, God said, and it is good, and it is good, and it is good, and it's very good, one of them. God looked at his creation and said, I like that. God looked at man and said, I love man so much, even despite what he has done, I'm going to send my son. And you are quadrupled damned if you do not believe on Jesus Christ, because God said, not only did I make you to worship me and have my pleasure is that you worship me, but I have given you my son as a gift that you may be a child of God, that you may have eternal life, and that you may worship before me. One thing is, is going to be sure. When it comes time for us worshiping God, we will be there with the creatures. We will be there with the four and twenty-four elders. And we may cast those crowns. May not. But there will be the general assembly, the angels, and all those that have been believed on Jesus Christ. There we are. There is heaven. And this is this is a period. But we just read chapter four. This is a period of your entire Bible. I mean you take that little dot that marks an end of a sentence. 66 books and this doesn't even touch what heaven's going to be when we finally get there all right we got four creatures we got four and 24 elders we got a roundabout rainbow we've got a throne it's going to be reddish yellow brown red all right explain all this in complete holiness that blows our brain away because we don't know what complete holiness is Explain to, explain to me when we're standing before this throne and you've got a body that will never feel your backache again. You'll never have a toothache again. You will never cry. You won't even cry in joy. It's gone. Sorrow's gone. There'll be no, oh, when I see Jesus, because there they are. When we are here in chapter 4, that... <coughs> <coughs> that door is open <coughs> and we are in the throne room of God physically and spiritually there is no more faith it's gone 
all that I've hoped for is now has happened. And we can't even fathom, I don't even think God could put it in human words of what heaven's going to be like. We don't even know who the four and twenty-four elders are. Let's just hit that tip of the iceberg. Wait till we find out who they are. Can you draw a picture of these creatures? I know Larkin tried to, but still, that's a product of, you know, looking at the Bible. I, I, yes, he is. Looking at the drawings. He was a great drawer. He was a great architect. But still, I can look at Larkin's drawings. That may not be it. These colors. Red, yellow, and brown. Well, how about red, yellow, and brown in complete holiness? And once we pass from chapter 4, we will be in complete holiness after the judgment seat of Christ. Sinlessness after the judgment seat of Christ. There's only one thing that, that will happen that, won't, that will end later on is Revelation 21. That's when all the tears are wiped away. That's after the great, great white zone of judgment. But here we are. We have now entered into glory. The church right now is at the judgment seat of Christ and in heaven. Where is the judgment seat of Christ? I don't know. But everything that's going to happen now, from chapter 5 to 19, we are in glory. We are in heaven. Those born-again Bible-believing Christians, and we don't mount up and come back to the Gen uh, Revelation chapter 19. And I say this, I, I'm being slow in speech, but because there are there are people out there, there are churches out there, there are deceivers that say that the church goes right on through all this. Absolutely not. Why are we told this? Why is John showing? First of all, this is the roadmap for the Jews through Jacob's trouble. Somehow they're going to read Revelation. Number two, what I'm going to read chapter five and on, I don't want my family to suffer. I don't want my friends to suffer. I do not want them to go through the Antichrist and die going off the lake of fire. We don't want people to go to hell and we don't want the, the rapture will happen in your lifetime. Chapter 5 to 19, the people that we know and love and, and deal with today will go through this. But the church is gone. Well, I can't wait till Christ comes. I can't wait till Christ takes us out of here. I can't wait till the rapture. Boom, chapter 4. We're gone. There it is. We're gone. It's, in the Bible, it's happened as far as our studies. 